Good morning, boys and girls. Today is May 15th, 2020, and right now it's time for Math with Miss Morales. Our learning objective for today is I can solve a CGI math word problem. We're going to start our math lesson with a math workshop. This is where we're going to practice a strategy. Our warm up for today is to practice counting by tens forwards and backwards. I will play a video for you. Feel free to count along. We're in a hot air balloon, and as we ascend, we're counting how high up we go in groups of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We saw Blue Jay flying with his friends. We asked him to sing along with us and count by tens. He said, Excuse me, sir, madam. Well, I am just a bird. For me to count by tens would simply be absurd. Is he holding a pin? We're in a hot air balloon and we're about to descend. How much lower do we go in groups of 10? 190, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, and then 10. Phew! We're alive! I could tell that ride. I really scared my friend. So I tried to think of a safer way to count by 10. I thought for a while, but a thought came to my mind. This time, let's try to find a mountain we can climb. We're at the bottom of a mountain, and as we ascend, we're counting how high up we go in groups of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then 100. We saw a bald eagle and asked him to be our friend. And if he come along with us and count by ten, he said, well, I can't count, but watch out. Don't step on that branch. If you break it, you might start an avalanche. Oh no! That can't be good! We're at the top of a mountain and about to descend. We're counting down to the ground in groups of ten. 190, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, and then 10. You know, I like you, Ben, and I like counting by ten, but I really don't think we should try this again. <laughs> Visit numberrock.com for exclusive content, lesson materials, and more. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and counted by tens, forwards, and backwards. Today's strategy is all about counting backwards by 10. And you might remember that you can count backwards by 10 to help you subtract 10 from a number. A hundreds chart can help you do this, just like the hundreds chart here. For example, if we were going to solve the number problem, 95 take away 10, we would start at 95 and count backwards by 10. Try it with me. So I know I'm going to start at 95. And I have to count backwards by 10. Count backwards with me. 95, 85. We just counted backwards by 10 and we stopped at 85. So that means that 95 minus 10 is equal to 85. We just saw this problem by counting backwards. Let's do it again. But with this time, we can use this strategy 
to subtract more than one group of 10. For example, to subtract 20, you can count backwards by 10 two times. Because if we look at the number 20, we see that there is a two in the tens place. So that's why we're counting background backwards by 10 two times. And if we, we wanted to subtract 30, we can count by 10 three times and so on. So let's try another problem. Let's try 80 minus 50. So I'm going to start at 80. And since 50 is 5 tenths, we're going to count back 5 times. So we're going to count 70, 60, 50, 40, 30. We are stopping at 30. And that means 30 is our answer to our problem. Our problem is 80 minus 50 equals 30. Awesome job trying this strategy with me. I want you to keep this in mind as I go over our CGI math word problem and as you solve it today. And here is our CGI word problem. Listen as I read the problem to you. David has a bag of blank grapes. He takes out blank grapes for a snack. How many grapes does David have left? Now that I read our problem, I need to think about who or what is our problem about. I will underline that information. I know our problem is about David, and David has a bag of grapes. That's important information for us to know about our word problem. Now I'm going to add in our numbers. Listen as I read the word problem with our numbers, and as I read, I want you to think about what important numbers do we have, and what do they mean? David has a bag of 27 grapes. He takes out 10 grapes for a snack. How many grapes does David have left? So again, I added in some numbers, but what are they and what do they mean? I want to box this information. Our important numbers are 27 grapes and 10 grapes. So these are the two numbers that we will be working with to solve this problem. Now that we know who our problem is about, and what our important numbers are, I need to know what are we doing with this math problem? What kind of math are we doing? Are we adding or subtracting? Think about, the, think about that question and some clue words that would help you find out what we are doing with this problem. I will read it again. David has a bag of 27 grapes. He takes out 10 grapes for a snack. How many grapes does David have left? Now that I read the problem again, what are some clue words that tell us what we are doing with this problem? Correct. I highlighted the words takes out because that tells me what kind of math we are doing. Takes out is a clue word that we are subtracting with this problem. David started out with 27 grapes and then he takes out 10 grapes. So he's taking away 
10 grapes from the 27. And I highlighted the word left because that tells me what we are looking for. We are looking for the amount of grapes that David has left. So that will be our answer. Again, here is our problem. David has a bag of 27 grapes. He takes out 10 grapes for a snack. How many grapes does David have left? One way we can solve this problem is by using the counting back strategy. We need a hundreds chart. So to solve, we would start at 27 and count backwards by 10. Try it with me. So I'm starting at 27 and I need to count backwards by 10. So I know 27, 17, that's counting backwards by a group of 10 one time. And I stop at 17. So that tells me 27 minus 10 is equal to 17. So David has 17 grapes left. Remember, there are other strategies that you can use to solve this word problem. You can draw and take away base 10 blocks like I showed you last week. You can count something that you have a lot of at home, like cereal, coins, and paper clips. You can use tally marks, draw your tally marks and take some away. You can use this counting back strategy with a number chart. I have a number chart at the next slide that I can show. And then I can always upload one with today's assignment. You can also have a parent help you draw a number line. And you can use any other strategy that you know. So here is our hundreds chart. If you would like to use a counting back strategy, you can always pause the video here and use the chart. So now it's your turn. And here is our word problem. David has a bag of 27 grapes. He takes out 10 grapes for a snack. How many grapes does David have left? So when you turn in your activity today, I should see that you solve this word problem with all of the number choices. So you're showing me work for 27 grapes, take out 10 grapes, 49 grapes, take out 20 grapes, 68 grapes, take out 30 grapes, 85 grapes, take out 40, and do a bonus problem where you are taking away a group of 10 from a number. Again, I should see you solve all of these number choices. And when you're done, please take a picture of your work and upload it to the portfolio page on Class Dojo. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.